Hey everybody, it's my new video, and in this one, I'm going to talk about my sex life. I lost my virginity when I was about close to 20. Now, I started late, 19, 20 years old. And this woman, you know, I can't really say their names because they'll get mad at me for broadcasting this kind of video, but... Anyway, there was this woman who was... A lot older than me she was about uh, 30 or so 10 10 7 8 years apart and we got it on at her place we then you know the next day she made me breakfast and then we you know she drove me home and actually my friends hooked me up with her anyway we got it on again at her house it was really good you know the first time lasted about four hours the second time only lasted about 30 minutes 30 40 minutes because i wasn't really into it that time you know but but then after her there was this girl at a hotel. Actually, I met her at I met her at at a restaurant. I was going there to get some water because I was panhandling on the street to support my smoking habit. And then I met met up with her. She took me to a, to to a hotel. She took me to a hotel, and then when we were at the hotel, I told her a poem. And at, at the time, I was just beginner, you know, I wasn't really banging that much, but I just told her a poem. I didn't really understand that I was actually going to get laid, but then I got laid, and, you know, I did a lot of stuff to her. She did a lot of stuff to me. Then, you know, we banged for like three, two, two, three hours and she was really cool she kept on joking with me she kept on saying why did you do that sort of thing to me when no other guy does that sort of thing and I told her I'm not like other guys when I'm getting in the mood you know I go forever and then she kicked me out of her hotel because apparently we actually broke into somebody's hotel room and banged right in her. <laughs> she kept saying, we have to get the fuck out of here. We just banged in somebody's house. So he left. It was so fucking hilarious, man. And then I, I, I was living on an apartment. This, the third woman I was with, I was hanging out with my cousin and her friend and his friend, I should say. They introduced me to her. She was an older lady. She was in her, she was about 45, 46. And, you know, she taught me everything, you know. She taught me how women wanted to be treated, how she was able to, to teach me everything about how to treat a woman, you know, and how to have respect for a woman, you know. That's why I'm not saying any of these women's names, because I have respect for women, you know, and... Then after her, after her, I just, well, after her, it was, it was just a series of like rubbing and touching different women, you know, especially these, these two sisters who I've known for years and years. These two sisters would tease me every single day. This, these two sisters were, were from Sydney, Sydney, Cape Breton. And they were, they were just teases. That's all they were, were teased. They were just a fucking tease. They wouldn't let me, you know, get right in there. And then... Um, ah, oh man. There were two other women after that, but those were just hookups. Those didn't mean nothing to me. Those were just like one night stands. They, did, they had no meaning. But then I met this other woman. 
Now this woman, <laughs> holy jeez, she was the best, man. I would go to her place almost every single day, and we just get right down to it. I, I remember how I met her. I was at my friend's place, and we. I started walking out of his of of her house. She was my friend. I walked out of her house, and I saw this woman. And she, I told her, "Hey, this was at night." She, I said, "Hey." Would you like to, I said, hey, do you need some company tonight, baby? And she was like, yeah, come on, come on, come come into my place. I said, okay, I started talking like a soldier. I started telling her I love soldiers, I'm a soldier, I can go forever and ever. We got to her place, I wasn't expecting to get late, but she just kept on saying, like, like, she kept on saying, like, just sit down, have, relax, make yourself at home. And I was like, okay, I'll keep making myself at home. Then she came out of she came out of the bathroom with no shirt on. And then she sat down. She started touching me. I started touching her. Anyway, we were banging for every every single day for like a month straight, two months, two or three months straight every single day. She said, no one's ever made her feel like a woman. And she said, I'm the only one that's ever made her feel like that. And then after her, you know, I just never got laid after that. I did have a new girlfriend. I just broke up with her about two years ago. But, you know, we never actually did anything. You know, we're just kissing and touching. That's pretty much it. Anyway, that's my sex life. Can you relate?